Hi everyone, welcome to Pinay Domain. My name is Eliza and I help all beggars win in life and business. For today's video, I would be sharing our student planner template in Notion. Notion is basically an all-in-one workspace where you could set your goals, track your progress, and collaborate with your team. So what I love about Notion is that it's highly customizable. You could totally set it up according to your needs and it's accessible to multiple devices such as your desktop, your laptop, mobile, and your iPad. Now let's start with the tour and set up. Upon your purchase, you'll receive a client welcome packet with instructions on how to duplicate and set up the template so the first step is to create a free notion account then after that just click this get the template link to access the student planner then just click duplicate on the upper left corner to enable editing so the dashboard looks like this So at the very top, we have the master list, categorized into exam, quiz, project, assignment, and others. On each card, we have the task title, the subject, the due date, and the progress or status. So to add a new task, just click the plus button at the end of every column. For example, I have an exam about cardiovascular system. on my anafi subject then the due date is on august 12 and the progress is not started um, it's important to note that only the pending tasks will appear in this table once i hit done or complete it would automatically be out of the list unless i update the filter rules in here to add even the completed tasks. Next to the master list is a table of the tasks due within the week. And then I could just easily drag the card to update the status if it's in progress or done already. Moving on, we have a weekly planner with space for your daily intentions and to-do list within the week and then you just easily refer to your master list and task due within the week during your planning session next we have our bonus sections here for your goals calendar projects life admin tasks books and wish list so let's start with your goals section or the goals page so we have Goals could be divided into your priorities, your academic goals, fun goals, health and wellness goals, along with your action plan, where you break down um, your goals into mini tasks to achieve your goals. Then at the bottom, we have another table to for your goals. We have a year column. A month column your goals tags if it's a goal for your university career health and fitness personal finance and fun goals and then just a column for the status if it's not started in progress or done you could delete this template if you want if you don't need it just click this table and click delete or duplicate Going back to the dashboard, we have a calendar. Ayan. So in the calendar, you could add your schedule with the subject, the time, and the room for each day. And then to add another card, just click the card and click duplicate. Ayan. Next, we have a calendar view of your master list. all right next we have the project section so all the tasks which are tagged as projects will appear in this page for example here i have a case presentation for my ms subject due on august 10 2023 now if i want to plan 
for this case presentation, I just click this new card. Add my project title, for example, case presentation for my subject MS1. Then not started for the status. Then here I could list down my goals and deliverables for this project. Then next to that, we have a table here to break down the tasks for this project, assign a person for each task, along with the start date and due date for each task. And then if I want to add a file or a media, I just have another table for that and then update the status. For this page, we have the life admin tasks. So life admin tasks are basically tasks to get your life together. We have a weekly life admin tasks in here and monthly life admin tasks subdivided into home and school. So that's basically it. Next, we have the books gallery. So for this books gallery, I have added a widget here to count the books you've read. Ayan. And another column for the book you're currently reading and the next book that you plan to read. And in the library, we have the title of the book, the author, the genre of the book, and the status. So if you want to add another book, just click new. Add the book title, the author, the tag, if it's personal finance, personal growth, or fiction. And then for cover, just click and upload. You can upload a file or embed a link to add a cover and then just update the status if it's not started, in progress, or done. Then lastly, in the quick link section, we have a wish list gallery naman. Yan. With your wish list and the price of the item. We also have a routine checklist subdivided into morning routine and night routine tables in the dashboard. Then finally, we have a course gallery. You could add as many courses as you want in here. Then when you open each page, just add the title of the course. For example, MS1. Then for tags, if I want to categorize it by year, um, yan. I also added a widget for a Pomodoro tracker and table in here. You could also attach a course syllabus, add your schedule, professor, and your email, and the email address of your professor. Then at the bottom, we have some a gallery of your notes for each course so that's it if you have any questions or concerns just let me know thank you